What is up YouTube? So what I'm here today to do is to talk to you about something Nintendo just released. They released a near field communication figure, or they're going to release a near field communication figure for the Wii U and 3DS. They released this I think a couple weeks back and to start off it sounds like a pretty cool idea, right? Like Skylanders or Disney's Infinity but with Nintendo figurines, with like a Mario one, a Zelda one, a um, whatever you can think of. Maybe the Pokemon characters, Bowser. Um, but what is bugging many people about this is they released that Super Smash Bros. Direct will be using these near field, near field communication figures, also known as NFC fig figurines, which is why I'm going to start to call them. So pretty much why this is bugging people is like, so why are we going to be able? Why are we going to have to go out and pay for these Smash Bros. characters when we had in the last game? I mean, it sounds pretty cool if it was just a game that was designed for these figures. But Smash Bros. Many people don't think they should have to go out and buy the characters. I mean, I guess I see if it's like a new character that you can't get anywhere else besides the figures, and maybe they have like two or three of those, that would be okay. And I can see if it's like a side option, like you could also use the figures, but you do not have to. You can also unlock the game's characters if you would like. I can see if that works out. And to be honest, that's what I would do. I would have it so you can unlock the characters. And on the side, almost like a cheat code, but it's like paid DLC, like they do in a lot of Facebook games now, where you can like just buy ahead, or like iPhone games. Like for example, if that you were playing Clash of Clans and you just wanted to cheat and you wanted to buy a bunch of um, elixir so you can make more um, soldiers to go raid the other village. I mean, I can guess, it, I can see like that, like cheat your way forward to having all the characters so you can beat your friend. Although, I also disagree with that because that's like bringing us to the point of, hey, you can pay money to be the best player. Um, to be honest, I do not think Smash Bros. is the right game for the NFC characters, but they said that it is going to happen. Um, I don't know how they're going to do it yet, they did not announce that, but I'd say that we have to keep, in, keep on looking at this, because it could go very well for us, but it could go also pretty bad. Like, let's say the only way to get characters is to have the figures and the game comes with two figures. I would not like that as Smash Bros. Direct. I would rather it be like Smash Bros. Brawl like I have right here, where you can unlock the characters and you play as the characters you unlock. I think they're trying to do a little too much, and it's not in the direction I want Smash Bros. to go. Um, they said it's going to happen in both platforms, the 3DS and the Wii U. Uh, and that's what actually gave me a little bit of hope. The 3DS. Do they expect you to carry a bunch of figures around to play as your favorite character on the 3DS? That's why I think this might be put as an extra platform, like you could earn it as while. And if you can earn it as an extra platform, I will still probably get the game and probably get a Wii U to play it. But if you cannot, which I'm not sure how they would do with the 3DS, maybe you have to scan it once. But I think that the, th the main point I'm trying to make is I really want Smash Bros. to be a game where you can unlock your characters. I think that is what made the other Smash Bros. successful. It's what made me keep coming back to the game. I mean, otherwise it would have been just a party game, but instead I played by myself so I can unlock the characters. I want to be able to do that again, and if these NFC figurines ruin the game for me, I think I might be turned off of the Smash Bros. series for a while, and I think this might have just stopped the Nintendo's hope for boosting Wii U sales. I mean, I guess... Mario Kart 8 and Smash Bros. Direct were supposed to be really big releases that were supposed to turn around the Wii U. But if this NFC figurine ruins Smash Bros. Direct by um, making it so you have to buy the characters, I do not think that um, the Wii U sales will turn around. Uh, that is my stance on this. This is Dr. Video Game. If you like the video, make sure to give me a thumbs up, comment below, and subscribe to my channel. Uh, for the last part of my vi video, you guys can turn this off if you don't want to listen to a little um, apology from me, but I'm going to make one. I'm sorry I didn't make much videos. I'm pretty sure my last video was a week ago. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm I have made two videos today. I'm not sure if I'm uploading this one first or second. But um, the reason I'm apologizing is because I didn't make any videos this week because I had so much schoolwork. I had three tests I had to study for, I had two problem sets, one for science, one for math, and I had two projects I had to do. I had a ton of work, luckily this week is over, tomorrow I have prom, so I guess I'm going to 
probably be able to get a lot of that stress I have from this week out. And I just thank all of you for being such great subscribers and sticking with me through this week. Uh, I'll make sure to make up for this. Uh, I'm g actually getting a lot more subscribers than I thought, so my 100 subscriber contest might be within the next month, which would be pretty awesome. Uh, if I get my 100 subscribers, here's a little bet for you guys. If I get 100 subscribers within the next two weeks, I will make sure that my 100 subscriber contest is huge. Thank you. Uh, Stack the video game and I'm out. See you guys all in the next video.